So I want to tell you about something that's actually true. Did St. Patrick chase the snakes out of Ireland? Yes, this is true. Why is it factually true of actual physical snakes being chased out of Ireland? No, that's stupid. What does the serpent represent? The devil, right? Evil, dragon, you bad, that, that thing. Gets talked about in the Old and New Testament. Um, in his success with the Christianization of Ireland. Um, this is one point where we can look and say, wow, uh, look, I mean, the, the beauty of, of the way Christianity moved in and didn't destroy the culture that was there. And you get things like the Celtic Cross and uh, this, uh, these people coming to Christianity in their own will, not by being wrenched by some empire. And he was taken captive there. Uh, he's taken. He was kidnapped and brought to Ireland as a slave, and then escaped, and then came back to Christianize the people. Uh, so he knew the culture. He didn't have to come in. He wasn't some bolstered missionary. He was uh, a true man, going to the people. We know that he knew their culture and their traditions. Um, and there's various legends about him that he taught the Trinity with the the clover. Um, St. Patrick, great man, um, Orthodox saint, uh, Roman Catholic saint, Anglican saint, um, fantastic guy, just spreading the word without any violence or intimidation, no proselytizing. This was a true evangelist, not an evangelical, no proselytizing. Um, bring the gospel to Ireland and uh, what happens when places get Christianized human sacrifice stops whether that was existed in Ireland I'm not one to say um, but not really mattering this is the Irish people becoming Catholic which is an identity that would stick with them uh, through various struggles, which would make them Spain and Ireland allies, sisters, for a long time because of the, uh, the roughness of the British crown. And uh, this would go on through various nationalist <coughs> and traditionalist struggles against oppression and occupation. So St. Patrick expelled the serpent out of Ireland. Snakes in Ireland? No, not since before the last Ice Age. Um, there might be a type of snake there. I don't know, but uh, no, it's not super literal. It is true. This is a metaphor. Chasing the serpent out of Ireland and serpents out of Ireland. Which means um, bringing Christianity that demons must flee. Please see. Aaron Gobra, Gobra. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. God save Serbia, Syria, and Ireland. Take it easy.